Hello and um, welcome to the sixth, fifth. So just got start, I've started again. Yeah, mm -hmm. Fifth. Well, eh? I, I can't remember. Is it's it the fifth? fifth? You said to me it was your fifth time coming up here. No, it's four times I've been in Port. This is irrelevant. Hi, welcome to the Tour of Scotland. Uh, we're currently in Portree again. I'm joined by Lee McShane and the sore throat and Paul as well. Uh, Lee, Lee's brother. Um, I've been driving for about seven hours and I'm feeling quite under the weather. Uh, the satellite navigation took us about 80 miles in the wrong direction. So, anyway, I have to go and get some, some breakfast. I need something to get a bit of nutrition back in my body. He's a gummy! Lee here has slept for about eight hours solid. Done absolutely hee haul. Hee haul? Sorry, I I'm waiting a week. I'll introduce Paul. I can't really see him for the sun. Like, I'll come over that side. Southern Paul. Right, it's um. At least Paul's been keeping me company for a while. I don't know. The sun's quite bright actually. January 2nd, 2009. <laughs> <laughs> I've just came to the Granary, which is a local cafe, and it's shut. There's no other places that I'm aware of. Um, pubs to get some breakfast. So, well, we also went to the hospital and the reception doesn't open until 4 o'clock. It's only about 12, so we've still got a good while to wait before we can uh, get booked in and get a shower in it. So, we'll be stinking for the next three hours. <laughs> so, I've had my moan, I feel significantly better, better possibly. Uh, so, let's go on to a pub and pay extortionate prices for some food. Right, Muzi. I won't, I won't get a bite yet, Link. It's the biggest burger of all time. Big gob. Mm. Good. I'm going to welcome to some pub. Today we've told Paul here how to use a knife. Well, he's decided to give up on that. <laughs> I'm going to go back for a wee sleep because I'm not going to have much sleep. We're back in the van. We're going to go for a couple of hours kip. Or at least I'm going for a couple of hours kip. That's the, that's the intention anyway. Ah. I need a bit of a sleep. We're going for a couple of hours bevy. So we'll switch your bridges here. So what are you up to anyway, Moose? I just go for a couple of babies. Already? Oh, aye. Oh, well. You're a lazy pinger. You only, drove, you only drove a couple of hours in a lazy bastard. It's only been seven hours, eh? Standing here in this with your robin. Seems to. Moosey's always good at attracting the birds. Oh, watch. Give me a wee bastard. Two things right up close to me. Well, tell us your, your woes. For what? Tell us your woes. What do you mean, my woes? Talk to us. Oh no, man, I never came up to see that camera. Check your sheets for spunk stains. Oh, the sheets are covered in punk 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 stains. Punk stains, like. Spunk stains, I don't know. Hopefully, they're right, eh? No, aye. He was fucking mine. He was a fucking for a tenner. 13 pounds, eh? And that was one pipe, but. Yeah, Hello, I'm currently in the Poetry Youth Hostel. Uh, both Lee and Paul are out uh, boozing and they have been for quite some time. I've just been catching up on some sleep. I'm still feeling a bit on the L side. <laughs> My voice is still a bit um, gone. But I'm feeling a bit better. I swallowed a ton of pain colours and I'm going to get ready to head out in the town. I was speaking to Lee on the phone about five minutes ago who told me that there's some sort of gig on tonight so for that reason I'm not going to take the camera with me um, because apparently all the pubs are shutting to go to this loud music gig and so I'm going to 
there's no point in home for a camera you know, around you know a place where you're not able to talk and all that. So, in any case, I'll leave the camera here, go and enjoy myself, and probably do a wee bit of blogging before I go to my bed. But if not, I'll rejoin you tomorrow morning with some updates on what happened last night. Okay. We're, we're, we're just back from the. We're, we've been out in Portree. Okay. We've enjoyed ourselves. Here's Paul's take on what's happened. Meant it. Meant to be slags. <laughs> yeah, I can't man. And? Um, this is before I met up with you. No. No, this was when we went out for, when I went out for a fag. Fucking, we slaughtered our boyfriend. And she tried off with fucking him. Get my boyfriend starts all his bash. Knock him out. Knock him out. And we slut. Get him dancing with me. Fucking. Thought, thought I was in there. And then her boyfriend came up and started going off his nut. Uh, you. She didn't tell me, but she didn't tell me she had a boyfriend. Uh, you or her? Um, her. But. Who gives a fuck I wasn't kidding about well. So I had to be that gammy. No, as long as you got a gem on you. <laughs> he just says, Do you do that? Make your hook into your fang. It's a fang, we do not do that. I do it all the time, right? I cook into your fang, you fucking every fucking time. I do it all the time. Sorry. All the time. Every time I want to go to Chambers and I'm like, Oh, you're going to make a cook into your pussy. That's how I like to spend most of my Friday nights, eh? What, shagging boys' arses? Exactly. Can I beat it, like? Eh? Bro. It's amazing. Anyway. We're just sitting here munching on packets of crisps, trying to get some nutrition back into us. Tomorrow we'll probably go for a slap up, a fry up. And before John, we... you look absolutely bloated. I'm not that bloated. You're fucking away with it. No, I'm not. I've You've been in the whiskey, then, <laughs> John. I've had about, about five or six pints. Ah, what was that stuff you had? The whiskey's never in. What was that stuff you took in? What was it called again? I don't know. Kumala. Kumala. What was the stuff I took again? Was that not a fucking nice Piss water. Darville. Darville. Glaver. Aye. What? Well, I had some of that fish. Right. <laughs> you, you had some come come over there, there, there. That's the exact <laughs> stuff I had. That's what it's called. He had the right, like right, right. He had glaver. And I had Glaver's some of that. Right, right, right. 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 <laughs> and uh, it was rubber the, dumper. It was delicious. Mm. Oh, Jamie and uh, who is he? Did you have to perform a, a flatulence? My flatulence is bad. We, we understand that. Anyway, we're in poetry. We're having a bit of fun. We're going to go to sleep. Every fuck. For oh, baby! I'm not putting fucking kids at fucking 2 in the morning. I don't know. Because we're going to go to sleep. We'll play Pokemon. And then after that, we're going to go and get some grub. Because we'll be starving at that point. In fact, Moosey, don't you have a third bag of crisps? Fucking hell! Where are you, a camel? Yeah, you bet the more you greedy bastard. Give me the fucking bag of crisps or I'll come over there and start the taste of your mm. mouth. Jumanji. <laughs> Just a wee one. Ready salted. You are well in there. You are very salted. John, what a... What a... What a... That's my fucking favourite, you bastard. Fucking hell, John. Fucking Billy's gonna get you. So, is that STI on your t-shirt? Yeah, I think so. Somewhere, Must be. I'm just gonna go for our breakfast and hopefully the granary will be open. I'm starving now. Get full breakfast. Uh, yep. You'll have to tell us about what happened last night and where we all went. Not much. I'll actually say, is that STI on your t shirt? I went, no, it's not an but Which is that you want you? I went, aye. My thing, Va. Grandma is open. My throat is. Significantly better this morning. You can gargle with like bleach, so I feel a bit better. Oh, you're looking awfully lost. In my shoes. We're going to head down and get some food. Thank God I'm starving. Last night I decided I'm not going to have a drink, but um, when I went out there, I thought we'd kill me, so I thought, fuck it, I just <laughs> had to, need something to take this pain away. So, so, 20 pint. So, yeah, a few pints later. <laughs> I feel, feel a bit better this morning anyway. 
So we're going to the passive day, John? We need to have one or two. Mm, yeah. Just a couple of refreshments, you know? Yeah, I know. I do feel some refreshments coming on. Wait. I feel so. Have you given too many gammies last night? Charlie, must have been doing that. Hey, Paul here <coughs> is under the age of 18. 17. Yeah, but I understand that is under the age of 18. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <coughs> anyway, we're in a pub and Paul got ID'd. So you can tell the story. Yeah, I've got ID'd and I have, I've got my big brother's passport here. So she asked to see it and she was sitting there. Can I make it out? Can I make it out? So then she asked to see his ID and he gets away with it. <laughs> we both get in. That was it. Both IDs have got Lee McShane on them. Aye, got the same birth date. Yep. She's a blind old cow. Was Bree. Bree is a really, really tasty cheese. Thank you. Enjoying yourself? Music me have ordered a breakfast. This guy's taking six months. I think what I want. Yeah, I'm not getting a breakfast. Good morning. Music yeah. here has decided to start his food <coughs> without waiting for everybody else. I've got mine, but I have a bit of uh, manners. This guy doesn't you start eating if you want. I'm back at the youth hostel. Lee and Paul have went out to a pub to watch the football. I've just had a shower and dozed up on some painkillers and some some uh, TCP. And I'm feeling okay, I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm going to go out and join them in a minute. And um, just have a night out in the town. I was intending to go for a wee walk and I did there for a, for a minute, you know. But it started to rain a wee bit, so can I cut that short? So anyway, pub time and that's about it. I'm in Portree uh, Town Centre. I've phoned Lee but I can't get a hold of him. I don't have Paul's number but um, I'm going to have to try every pub to find out exactly which one they're at. There's probably about six or seven of them so I'll we'll start at the aisles and work my way up so you can find them. I touched you, this motherbird and they're going smack! He's not eating a smack! What the hell do you have for? I'm having a light refreshment. And it's been getting caught. I've been here for about three hours. Four hours. It's not as long as it is. We've for quite some time. We just just enjoy ourselves. Pump's quite quiet tonight. Who's he's a carrot guy? He's a carrot bastard. What's wrong with him? Because me and you can handle the crack and you can't. Yeah, yeah. Bailey, isn't it? What a woman. I think my own Bailey's is actually quite quite all right. Oh. I got I got beer pool. Is that Sarah? Oh, that was Sarah. Did you say even that? <laughs> oh, you can't. That's what you get for losing eh, effort. Cheating at pool. Cheating. Cheating. Uh, uh, cheating. Cheating. John, you just gotta take it, son. I'm better. Just left the Caledonian. We're heading um, down the street. Muzi is crab at cunt tonight. Come off of Look at his crab face. Oh, Look how crab it is. Look at crab it. On a scale of 10, he's 11 for crab it now. Because I need a chippy. How's your heat? Oh, see it. My nipples are like bullets, it's freezing. <laughs> well, we've just been to the Chinese. What's the verdict for the Chinese? Not bad. Look at that. I've got some, yeah, some chicken for young, so I don't know if it's any good or not. The fuck are wrong with it? Mine's like this. just a wee more face. Ball needs a fag. Muzi oh, is a crab at get. I am great. John is right to his wings. <laughs> no, I'm not. Camera. We're in Portree Town Centre. Paul, his face is tripping him. Because I'm tight cunts when they give me a fag. Get enough for the bastard. Skanks. What's happening, Muzi boy? Should you smoke anyway? I agree, I, I agree. Then I start your push. We're she heading back to Portree Independent Hostel. And that's about it really, there's not really much to say. My throat's still 
My throat's a bit better. So my health is returning. Anyway, that's us here at the Portree Hostel. And I'm just about to go inside, so I'll have to cut off. Adios. Ciao. We're um, back at the youth hostel. I've just had a quite a horrible Chinese. Oh no, I thought it was a good chinky. But you have no sense of taste. Oh, I've got the sense. It wasn't that good. No, I thought it was good, like. We're just back in the hot there. In our room, it's raw and warm because we've left this wee heater on. And even though it doesn't put out any heat, you know, it's sort of over the past eight hours that we've been away getting drunk, it's put out enough heat to warm up, warm up the room. He's a banker. <sighs> Stop moaning about him. Oh, but he's a dickhead, like. I'm thinking I'm tired. I'm absolutely wasting it on my face. An awfully red looking. Ah, uh, you look like a like an Indian. I do look like a fucking Indian, eh? And I'm thinking I should go to sleep. Pretty soon, like, because I'm fucked. You're like somebody's battered your face off a wall. I feel like somebody's battered my face off a wall. <laughs> but I'm feeling I need to go to sleep in these crusty sheets. Awesome. How are you, John Boy? I'm, I'm not too bad. Just a bit of wine and these crisps that I hid under my bed since so when they eat them. Bastard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a bastard. <laughs> I just ain't paid for them because they were the best. Fucking right. Yeah, I've got some cheese and onion. We're good. So what? Uh, cheese and onion. What the fuck's my cheese and onion? You can have them. Um, salt and vinegar. Then they salt and vinegar are some, aren't they? They're next to you. Are they? Yeah, they're, they're like there. Yeah. I'm pointing to them. In the bag. Oh, Smokey Wing. Oh, yeah, Smokey Wing is hiding. Right <laughs> I mean, how unfortunate. Work a 40 year chef. <laughs> For your break. Bring it steadily. Oh, you all want KFT? Oh, we all love working with KFT. KFT is brilliant, the managers are amazing. The managers are brilliant. They give you a half and a break for a 40 minute shift, but that's yeah, fucking that's that's brilliant. No, but come on. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> I wish I could go half and a break for 40 minutes. <laughs> You're not entitled to that break, though. Hey, fuck. You should, hey, be, fuck. You should be working that 14 hours. That half and a break that you get, <laughs> you should be fucking working. Oh, no. You should be grabbing the fucking bitch be, by the hair and smacking her face off the fucking ground. And sit her here like stick on oven and stick on her fucking skin off! Ah, oh, here! 14 years ago, half an hour you can't complain, that's fucking good. A full half hour? I feel okay, so I thought you were only 30 about 25 minutes. And you're complaining? That's not matter if you work 14 or 16 hours, you get that half hour, so you're not right, okay, I mean, just soft to you. You're complaining? I'm complaining. Half an hour? Oh fuck, I'm. <laughs> so it's a minute in company, therefore you're not entitled to it. Exactly, we're not entitled yet. We're just lucky to get it. Oh, they didn't even start. Oh no. That bitch would get shoved in the oven and fucking skinned around. Shove her face up and get up and fucking still fan you and still rip her pussy. face out. And, oh. You still like her big fat binge. Oh, I'd love to rip her fucking <laughs> shit out of her life. Rip the shite out of her, did you say? Eh? Did you say you'd love to rip the shite out of her? The face of yeah. you. Alright. I was just going to say, that's a bit minging if you're ripping the shite. Swag. Lucy. Oh man. You want to work in KFC? I would love to. You see, the breaks you get, they're fucking frothy. <laughs> Fucking Half an hour every 14 hours. Why should I go that? Honestly, John. You're lucky if I get 10 minutes for every fucking hour of work. Jillian Shags Fiona. Mm. Hope that gets put on the internet and then that fucking slapper sees it. Oh, you love your one. Oh, you smelly bastard. They had to have my grin. Instead of a fish. The hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I need to sleep. You cold boys. You're a poof. You're a fucking poof. Stay up fresh. Fuck off your back. Fuck off your fat bastard. <laughs> no, you didn't mind. No, I'm not getting near covers it's covered in fucking crisps. You should get like the crispy bed. They're all doing my back. <laughs> so I've he's got crusted and so he's heat. Oh yeah, come that spots like hello. Like I'm fucking mixing that burn. <laughs> it's not that bad, eh? Yeah, cunt! 
What a burn, what a weave. Well, you built it like Evan John, like. No, you're not a good bastard. You're not a good bastard, that's not your posh. Hey, my mom was a shot horse to use these. Look at the mess of this place. <laughs> Why are you doing that? There's a toilet roll, what's that doing here? Don't know, eh? <laughs> Kill all right, let's go to sleep. Aye. Who the fuck's my juice? Jumanji! He's a gummy. Morning. Fuck, <laughs> morning. Look at the message made. Can I take him the original? Kim. So just as I'm getting ready to leave the return of poetry, <coughs> and once again, <coughs> the granary is shut so we can't get any food. I don't know how else open for miles. Figures. Just one day. Uh, well, there's only that one packet, so. The rest is all on the floor. Yeah. He's whining about now, you bunch of cocks. Hot scarves and flags. I'm getting ready to head. Goodbye, poor tree, for another year. 